welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a story-based lesson with special focus on post activities and revision activities. I will begin with three pre-activities, then tell the story with the help of visuals, and then assign roles for dramatization and finish with post activities. The first activity that we have is a connect the dots activity. Students are given this and ask to find what is in the picture. After that, of course, you can say, yes, it's a fish. Wonderful. Excellent. Now, where does a fish live? Hmm? Does it live on a tree? Does it live in the classroom? Where? In the sea. Very good. Now I can start using my second pre-activity. Now I want you to look at this picture. Circle. Circle. The things that you can see in the sea. Can you see a school bus in the sea? No. Well, some students may say, just because they're naughty, yes. And then you can say, really? A school bus in the sea? Wow. What is important here is to clarify the words that I need. And those words are seashell, boot, fish, rock, and seaweeds. All the others are extra. So, giving the meaning of the word as a visual is the aim here. So, even if they want to be naughty, let them be naughty. You can laugh with them, not at them though. The third activity that we have is a, a puppet making. You give your students the templates. You have one big fish, this one, one small fish, this one. They can choose whichever they like. If they want to deal with the big fish, let them. They have a choice. If they want to deal with the small fish, that's okay. What you ask them is to color big fish blue and small fish red. Red and blue. When they are done, they need to cut along the lines and stick the pictures on a drinking straw. Or it can be any stick that they have or that you have with you to make puppets. Okay? Now, I can move on to the uh, story. I will tell you a story. Listen to the story. Ray's big blue fish puppet, when you hear the name. Ray's small red fish, when you hear the name. Okay? I will be checking. Story time! This is Big Blue Fish. She is very, very big. Show me, show me. Very, very big. And this is Small Red Fish. Show me. Small, small, very, very small. They live in the deep blue sea. Small Red Fish was afraid of big blue fish. One day, big blue fish said in a loud voice, I'm hungry. 
I'm very, very hungry. Mm. Where are you, small red fish? Oh, help, 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 said small red fish. Where can I hide? And she hid under a seashell. But look, look, the tail is showing. Oh my God. Big blue fish saw her tail. There you are, she said in a loud voice. But small red fish just escaped in time. Big blue fish said, I'm hungry. I'm very, very hungry. Where are you, small red fish? Small red fish said, Oh, help, help, help. Where can I hide? And she hid behind a rock. But look, look at the tail. Oh my God, it's showing. So big blue fish saw her tail and said, there you are. Small red fish just escaped in time. Big blue fish said, I'm hungry. I'm very, very hungry. Where are you, small red fish? Oh, help, help, help. Where can I hide? And small red fish hid in a boot. But look, the tail is there. So big blue fish saw her tail and said, Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Small red fish just escaped in time. Big blue fish said, I'm hungry. I'm very, very hungry. Where are you, small red fish? Small red fish said, Oh, help, help, help. Where can I hide? And she hid between seaweeds. But, oh my God, see the tail? It's showing. So black. A uh, big blue fish saw the tail and said, Aha, uh -huh, there you are. And this time, small red fish couldn't escape in time. She said, Oh, please, please, please don't eat me. And big blue fish said, ha, ha, Eat you? I don't want to eat you. You're very small. I have a Picnic basket. Come, let's have a picnic together. And they did. Now they are very good friends. Well, that's the end of the story. Uh, I used puppets, stick puppets. You can use uh, other, you can even use a PowerPoint presentation for that. Students don't need to see the lines, though, just the visuals. Now, I will assign roles for dramatization. I need one blue fish, big blue fish, and one student for small red fish. I need one student for a seashell, one a rock, one a boot, and two are students for seaweeds. Now, when I assigned roles, don't forget they have their puppets, okay? But they only have puppets of uh, big blue fish and small red fish. So they need to improvise being a seashell, being a boot, being a rock, you know, a seaweeds. And uh, they need to pretend that they are. So they need to act as if, you know. I assigned the roles. I call them to the front of the uh, classroom and I show them where they need to stand. 
Because remember, small red fish swims and hides, so they shouldn't stand very close to each other. Well, I am the narrator, so I'm going to tell the story, and I'm here to help them recall the lines. I start the story, help them dramatize, and I act like a prompter. So whenever the student doesn't know what to say, I'm here to say, oh, help, help, help. Wait for the uh, child, say the line, and then continue. Where can I hide? Do not focus their attention on the students who are in front of the class acting. Uh, just keep controlling the classroom. Never lose the control of the classroom because these students are already under the spotlight. But the rest needs the control. So stand in a, a, um, at a point where you can see everyone. Okay. When you're done with the first dramatization, change the students. Try to give uh, other students a chance to take roles. Okay. Now, um, remember, the small red fish hid under a seashell. So, being under a seashell requires certain um, closeness, body closeness. Uh, if your students do not feel comfortable with certain other students, try not to use them. Okay, so for example, in a boot, so maybe this the child is going to hold um, their hands like this, and the fish should go in there. See how close they are? There is no social distance here. So they should feel comfortable being that close to each other. Okay, when you're done with dramatization, uh, now it's high time you used post activities. As settling down activities, because they have been acting for some time now, and they need to go back to their seats and start uh, calming down. Quickly review what happened in the story. Then ask children questions about the things uh, maybe happened in the story to check their understanding, maybe the, the characters, okay? Uh, you can use an activity like this as an art activity, drawing activity. Uh, well, I have already uh, drawn the uh, fish hiding. I can easily ask questions like, Look at the picture. Where is the small red fish? They have listened to the story several times now, so they can easily say under the seashell, um, in the boot, uh, between the seaweeds and behind the rock. I have another activity here, post activity. It is a maze, but I have letters scattered all over the maze. So if students follow the correct route from start to finish, uh, they will collect the necessary letters to make a sentence, which is kind of uh, the summary of the story. You can also use the uh, small uh, uh, red fish bookmark uh, making activity that I use in one of our uh, art and craft activities videos. Obviously, this is a great story to teach prepositions. Before we start teaching other prepositions, other than under, behind, in, and between, we need to revise. This is actually an art activity. I give the objects to students and I ask them to draw a small red fish with the tail showing under the shell, seashell, 
in the boot, behind the rock, between the seaweeds, and behind the picnic basket. In the picnic basket, doesn't matter whichever preposition you want to use. After this revision, you can move on to the other prepositions that you want to teach. I suggest you uh, should stick to four to five, not more than that, because they have recently learned four. With the five, it will make nine. Do not overload the students. Well, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more videos, of course. Well, have a very nice day. Take care. Bye.